Hello! Uh, at long last, we're going to do the first tethered hover test of GimbalBot. Um, this is going to be, uh, hopefully, an easy test. Uh, I'm using the 8-inch carbon fiber propellers. Um, I have the battery off-board uh, and a uh, heavy power wire um, that's, that's going to uh, lighten the load a little bit, so with luck we'll actually get off the ground. Um, GimbalBot is, is uh, supported at the top by this elastic band from um, our, our rafters and then uh, constrained on the bottom using picture wire. So pretty, uh, pretty decent range of motion. Um, it's still getting a bit of an assist up here. So again, this is hopefully going to be an easy test. Um, I'm going to start by plugging in a control circuitry. That's going to give me uh, attitude control and power up the Arduino and kind of get everything running. So let me do that real quick. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time trying to come up with a good control scheme. Um, I don't have a I don't have a nice remote, so um, I was trying to get an Xbox 360 controller to work. It was a it was a bad tangent to go down. Um, so what I ended up doing is I can get this to work. Let's see. There we go. So I. Um, I took advantage of the onboard USB hub um, and just mapped uh, the XY axis uh, of a mouse. I actually have to integrate over time, so I, I mapped the XY axis um, to the X and Y gimbal. Um, so I'll be using that um, kind of to approximate attitude control, and then when I hold down and drag with the mouse button, that'll increase and decrease the throttle. So um, with any luck, I'll be able to find a good stable throttle position that gets me off the ground. Um, they'll be able to play around with thrust vectoring and just kind of see how it goes. snapped some 30-pound uh, test picture wire, so uh, we'll do more tests later. Thanks.